Well, I um, recently, this past August, started graduate school here at University of Colorado in Boulder. Um, and through that, I met some people uh, who were involved with SEDS. I wasn't, they didn't have a SEDS uh, uh, department at where I went to undergraduate school, University of Tennessee. So I didn't really have much of a chance to get it uh, out there. But as soon as I came out here, I kind of had it thrown in my face, you know, a few different, few different areas that people were kind of pushing it. So I decided to uh, go to a few meetings, got really interested in it. Uh, the things they were doing, it kind of was right up my alley just because space has been kind of my mantra for, for the past four years, just doing aerospace undergraduate. Um, and I just kind of like getting involved and having like-minded people around me in the same interest area. So that's how I got there. And um, I've been sitting in on exec board meetings uh, with them and kind of helping plan this whole event. Um, and I'm a volunteer this weekend. So just that's how I got to be at the actual event. So easy enough. I live here now. So. <laughs> and your uh, course of study at, uh, at UT, uh, what was it? I was an aerospace engineer, undergraduate there. Um, they don't have a, as nearly as big a program as they do here in Boulder, but um, it's growing and it's getting pretty strong. They've got some good professors, um, and one in particular, my advisor, was really interested in the space industry, um, so he was, he was a great guy to be around. Um, he'd done a lot of work uh, publishing papers and whatnot around uh, deep space exploration missions, which is what I'm interested in, mission planning, things of that area. Um, so I graduated with that degree and then decided to come be a part of the uh, Colorado Center for Astrodynamics Research here for graduate school uh, with Dr. Bourne. I don't know if you guys have had anyone in the interviews talk about him, but uh, it's kind of a, a legend in the industry as it were, I guess. So. Um, how did you originally get interested in space? Space, well, um, I kind of had an engineering upbringing. My dad was an electrical engineer, um, still is. Uh, and I was glued to the TV for those, uh, for the shuttle launches when I was starting to be like four and five. Um, my dad was always really interested in it. Um, and after he showed me a few of those, I never actually got to go down to one, but uh, we watched them all on TV. Got me really excited about those. We got the model rockets, you know, we did all of the, uh, the model rocket launches and things like that when I was a kid. So. I think that's how it originally started. Um, and then I always had kind of an interest in physics and math, uh, even in elementary school and middle school. It was a subject that I excelled in. So it was easy to kind of make the transition to studying the aerospace industry, I guess. Um, and then I, had the, I was fortunate to have some teachers in high school that were um, big proponents of the industry. So I kind of got another push in the right direction that way. So I guess it originally started with the shuttle program, which I think with a lot of people in my generation, even the generation before me, kind of had the same treatment. So it's really cool. Uh, so you're in graduate school for two years? Um, what's, what's the program here? I'm going to be on the PhD path here. Uh, so I'll be taking prelims next fall for that. So it's, it could be anywhere. Um, some people do it quickly, as quickly as four years. It's unusual. Um, and I don't really have a whole lot of rush. I love doing research. Uh, and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing so far since I've got here, so I can kind of take my time, take the courses I want to take, and, and just get involved in the areas that I want to. So I could, for the PhD, potentially be here five or six years, and then maybe postdoc work. I'm not really sure about the, the step afterwards, but PhD is definitely the plan at the moment. So probably five or six years. And what do you want to do after, after you get your doctorate? Um, I'm really interested. Uh, I've not had a whole lot of work in the industry. I've done a few internships. Um, no steady long-term jobs in aerospace, so I'm not really sure uh, what my stance is on that. But I have loved research all the way through undergraduate, um, from my senior design experiences to what I've been doing here. So I could see myself staying on in academia and staying in the research industry and just kind of um, working from that side of it. But uh, I would also like to, to experience the industry, you know. Um, and I, I said I'm really interested in um, mission planning and orbit determination. So I think that's probably where I would try and go as far as areas in the industry to study. So that's probably the mix. Nothing, nothing solid yet, though. Like I said, I have a few years to kind of work through that.